Taliban forces are toppling major cities and closing in on Afghanistan's capital today on the heels of that U.S. troop pullout. The Pentagon is sending 3,000 troops back in to help evacuate American embassy personnel. And the Taliban resurgence leaves President Biden with few good options. Alice Barr with the latest. With Taliban forces toppling major cities and now threatening to move on the capital of Afghanistan, the White House today insisting President Biden will not reconsider his decision to withdraw all American troops. The Pentagon echoing the president that this is now the Afghans' fight. This is a moment for the Afghans to, to unite the, the leadership. And in the military, no outcome has to be inevitable here. The president is sending 3,000 American troops back in temporarily to evacuate U.S. Embassy personnel from the capital, which experts believe is weeks, if not days, from falling. He's under fierce political pressure as the Taliban sweeps across the country, swiftly filling the power vacuum and targeting women and anyone who's helped the United States and its allies. The Biden administration also redoubling efforts to get Afghan translators and other allies safely out of the country. If they arrest us, they will kill us. Everyone, they will kill us. While it was President Trump who first promised a full withdrawal from Afghanistan, Republican critics like Senator Lindsey Graham are condemning President Biden for doing it too quickly. They're urging him to send troops back in to keep the country from becoming a launching pad for terrorists. The administration still working toward a diplomatic solution, but Taliban forces so far ignoring international outcries as they continue their stunning advance. Thousands of Afghan refugees are now fleeing regions the Taliban took over, trying to make it to the capital where they face an even more uncertain future. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News.